Welcome back to Rock Solid Motorsports. So today we have the privilege to introduce to you this beautiful 2003 Ford Mustang SVT Cobra Convertible. And this car comes to us, uh, just a beautiful example of these very sought after Cobras. Uh, just has just over 75,000 miles, but has been very well maintained. That black exterior shines very well. The black leather and suede interior just sets this car off. And these, these generation of Cobras do come with the 4.6 liter supercharged V8 backed by the five speed manual trans, six speed manual transmission. And <clears throat> this car does have some upgraded goodies and has been built by Bren Speed. Uh, some, just one of the goodies underneath that hood is the upgraded supercharger, the VMP supercharger. And we do have dyno sheets on this car and the particular setup and tune, it's putting 630 wheel horsepower to the ground. So this car is a fabulous driving, running car, and not just a great looking car. So we'll go ahead and grab the other cam. We'll go for a test drive. take a test drive in that beautiful black 2003 Ford Mustang SVT Cobra yep. convertible. So, and these 0304 Mustang Cobras, I mean, many Mustang owners and followers know, I mean, this car was referred to as the Terminator. I mean, these cars were monsters from the factory for their day and age. I mean, 365 horsepower, supercharged 4.6 liter. And this car was actually not too long ago sent to Brent Speed and then made just so much more. I mean, it has that 4.6 liter under the hood still, but it has been stroked out to over five liters and it's fitted with a 2.65 liter BMP supercharger. Yeah. And then the current setup is making 630 wheel horsepower. And with just a small pulley upgrade, which we do have the we crank have the pulley. pulley, you can turn this up to 702 wheel horsepower. Yeah, so you're pushing 800. Crank. 50, yeah, close so, to 850 crank horsepower. Yeah, so, and Brenspeed did a beautiful job with this car. Absolutely. I mean, it. Um, when we first got it in, I actually, it was a beautiful weekend, so I dailied it for the weekend. Uh, Tyler's mom, Angie, my wife, actually drove it quite a bit while I had it home, and it was an easy car to drive, just kind of like a, almost like a daily. Absolutely. But a lot of fun. Um, so anyway, <laughs> So, and the way this tune is set up, you do need to wait, turn the key on, wait probably about 15 seconds, and then start it up. And it does have a new twin disc clutch. Yeah, McLeod twin disc clutch. So. Hopefully I will install it. Ash, I guess you're a little used to it. Now it does have factory air, which we're going to go ahead. Yeah, it's a little warm. And the car so makes a great sound breathing through the Bassani dual exhaust. Oh yeah. Listen to that supercharger. Yeah. You get yeah, you do get a good supercharger whine the entire time driving the car. You do have to speak up a little bit. The car is loud. Oh, yeah. it. I mean, there's a little bit of a draw. 
not bad. I mean, it's kind of your typical aftermarket exhaust drone. But with this kind of horsepower? Yeah. You know? This car's got great street manners. I mean, right now, cruising at 50 miles an hour. I mean, it won't load up on you or nothing like that. I mean, it's just sipping on gas. I mean, you got a wide band over there. I mean, right now, we're reading like somewhere around 14 to 15, so it's just sipping gas at the moment, like you'd expect from a car with yeah, this much power. 50 miles per hour. I mean, I'm in mean, fifth gear. I'm not even in sixth gear. And I was only running at 1750 RPMs. Yeah. So, I mean, it's still very highway friendly. Yeah, absolutely. So, we'll go ahead and get up to 55. We're just stuck in a little bit of traffic. So, at 55, and I hate to even get into six speed because it's sixth gear. I'm at, well, I'm at 55 miles per hour. 56 and 1750 again. Yeah. So, I mean, you cruise all day long in this car. Absolutely. And it runs cool. It's set up, you know, I, I've driven it in town, light to light. Yeah, and like it's still, daily. and this, that's kind of a big thing because this car is still tuned on pump gas. Yeah. Running on 93, but it is fitted with the snow performance meth injection kit, which does have, keep those intake air temps nice and low. straight down the road and on top of it having a bunch of performance modifications i mean it didn't stop there with just the drive train i mean the actually the chassis has been reinforced yes um and uh it does have coilovers at all four corners so the car rides very well i mean it is set up to handle this added horsepower and braking is performed by the upgraded cobra four-wheel disc yeah does stop extremely well. It's, and all of your factory options work, the stereo, uh, cruise control, all your power windows, traction control you can shut off, yep. uh, power top. Oh, I'm going to wait just a second. We got a guy in front of us. Let this 4.6 liter breathe a little bit. I'm not going to get too wild and crazy, but it right. might get a little bit of tire first and second gear. But. Stay tuned. 
So now that we're done with the test drive on this beautiful 2003 Ford Mustang Cobra convertible, we'll go ahead and we'll do a walk around inspection and show you any little stone chip or door ding that we can find on the car. So it does have a couple very minor defects, but like I said, they are very minor. This car is a very attractive, well-maintained car. So we'll go ahead and we'll start with the windshield on the driver's side. And there are just a couple real minor stone chips, but no cracks, no major chips. Your windshield surrounds in very good condition. Coming down to your driver's side, front fender is in very good condition. Your Cobra emblem's in very good condition. I'm not seeing anything really to note on the front fender here. And then of course, uh, you got, is it, what a brand of these wheels, Tyler? Uh, American Muscle, but they're bullet replicas. Wrapped in metal tires. And the wheels, all four wheels are in very good condition. We'll go over them and show you any age or wear that we find on them. Coming across the driver's side, half of the hood is in very good condition. Now on top of the fender, we got a couple minor defects. Hopefully they'll show up there. They're pretty minor. We actually have a little bit in the clear coat here. I don't know if that'll show up. May not. Do have. We do have a couple chips that have been touched up here. There's three of them, then there's two here. Very minor touch-ups. But coming across the front of the car, both headlight headlights are very clear. Your front fascia and bumpers in very good condition. Now, the car does have 75,000 miles, so you're going to have a few minor stone chips. I think there's... Touch up here. Let's show another one right here. But very minor. There's no cracks in the in the front bumper, but there are just a few handful of minor stone chips across the front. There's some couple touch ups. Get a couple more touched up stone chips there we got a couple a couple more little stone chips that have been touched up there the rest of the the hood there's no cracks very good condition and the paint throughout shines very well and very little orange peel in the paint but so the passenger side fender not seeing any dents your Cobra emblems in very good condition passenger side front wheel not seeing any rash it's in very good condition your front tires here are dated 2023 so they're fairly new and then the passenger side of your windshield is in very good condition I'm not seeing any there's a couple there are a couple minor, very minor chips, but nothing major, no cracks. Windshield surrounds in very good condition. Both mirrors, I've got just some minor stone chipping, which you would kind of expect with a car with a few miles on it. Got a little chip there. The rocker cover on this side is in very good condition. The passenger side door is in very good condition. That's just dirt. So coming into the interior, let's say very above average interior. Tyler's showing you the door. The door jams are clean. Door panels in very good condition. There's just a little bit of like, it's getting a little loose right here on the armrest. 
but no heavy cracks or wear to nose. Your door jams are very clean. Even your threshold has very little scratches in it. Passenger side floor mats in excellent condition. Your carpet's in very good condition. Your dash throughout's in very good condition. No warpage or cracking. All your AC and heater controls and your stereo are all nice and clean and legible. Shifter just has a little bit of wear up near the top, but the boot is in very good condition. Center console is in very good condition. And your seats are in excellent condition. No real wear to note on the passenger seat. Coming to the back, you have maybe a couple of light stains in the back. And the suede, do it from the tree, but no heavy wear in the vinyl. Rear carpet and floor mats are in very good condition. Your speaker covers are in very good condition as well. You do have a little bit of fade in your color on your plastics up here, but your crossbar is in excellent condition your roll bar. So coming back outside. Now this cover here there is some light that cracking and touch up here. Yeah so I don't know if it got bumped. But the rest of the quarter very nice and straight. Down low behind the tire. And I'm sure there's some very light stone chipping back behind the tire but really not anything noticeable yeah and that rear wheel's in very good condition and the convertible boot, boot cover is in very good condition fits very well and when we start up for the lights i'll put the top up and then we'll show you the top up and down but but across the the deck lid is very clean. The rear spoiler, nice and straight, no warping. Coming across the rear that of the trunk. Little gouge here in the bumper. Yeah. That's been touched up. The rest of the bumper is in very good condition. Your taillight lenses, both taillight lenses are very clear, in very good condition, no cracks. Go into the trunk. The trunk will find another one of those upgrade goodies. So you do have the controller that there comes with the SCTX4 programmer. And you got the tank for your methanol. Methanol. But if you look at the bottom side pictures, the floors on this car and the frame rails are in very good condition. It's definitely never seen a winner. Coming back outside, the driver's side, rear quarter and bumper cupboard low is in very good condition. Not really seeing much to know. The rear tire and wheel is in very good condition, nice and clean. Quarter vent on this side's in better condition than the passenger side. No real touch-ups to know. And the driver's door, I'm not seeing any door dings. It's dirt. There might be something really minor, but the back of the driver mirror, there are some light stone chipping. And we come into the driver's side portion of the interior. You'll see very comparable to the passenger side. Another nice clean door. Door panel on the driver's side is very comparable to the passenger side. Again, just, just starting to get a little loose down by the armrest, but not bad. Speaker cover. 
is in very good condition. Door jams are in very good condition. Again, the threshold play on the side, not showing much scuffs or scratches in note. Driver's seat is in excellent condition. No real wear again to note. Steering wheel is in very good condition. Your cruise control buttons are nice and legible. Factory gauge clusters, nice and clean. Again, that dash is in very good condition. You do have, my guess is, I'll get, go ahead and get in, but there's like a broken clip on the very far end, so that does stick up just a touch, but really not that noticeable. You see your pedals are all in very good condition. The driver's side carpet and floor mat are both in very good condition. You actually, not that I think of it, there is a little tear, like someone pushed too hard on the floor mat on the carpet right there. But back of your driver's seat's in very good condition. Same with your, again, your rear carpet and floor mats. And your back seat, again, just has some light wear to note. But really not bad. I think there's one little scratch in the leather on the outer bolster, but again, your speaker cover is in very good condition. But on this side again, just from the topping down, it does have some sun fade on top of the plastic. You can kind of see the color difference, but really not bad. So coming back outside, we'll Go underneath the hood. There's kind of the money shot for this car. So that that awesome 32 valve, 4.6 liter supercharged V8. So I'll go ahead and fire it up. And then we'll put the top up and show you some lights working. Side 
turn signal, passenger side turn signal, and your reverse lights. So if you're in the market for an SVT Cobra Mustang or just a very fun wall of horsepower, you definitely want to take a close look at this awesome 2003 Ford Mustang, Rock Solid Motorsports.